Hello everyone, welcome to another Tips for Truthers. Uh, today's little lesson for you guys is something I picked up um, around the 2016-2018 period, uh, just before I got kicked off of um, <laughs> YouTube for for work reasons. Um, I kind of got embroiled in, in the divisiveness of that time, let's say. And um, the lesson I basically learned by the end of it all is um, be extremely careful when researching the conspiracy uh, that you don't get sucked into these certain fads um, these these topics that can lead you to ending up hating and resenting and putting all the blame on a specific group okay um, it's easily done because obviously we're looking for people who are, are destroying our world, destroying our civilization, our cultures, our societies, um, forwarding agendas that are not in our best interest. And it can put us in a, you know, in a kind of an on edge type of attitude. It can make us feel like that. And um, so I'm not surprised is it, we can easily fall into this idea of it's their fault. They're the people. They're the bastards hate them hate hate on them and then you just start going on about how they are the enemy all the time and it can end up becoming a problem okay uh, not only because having that attitude will lead you to inevitably getting silenced or banned for hate speech of some kind or something like that you know um but it's also not good for you and your soul and your mental health and to be honest it's probably wrong it's probably based and rooted in something that's not factual or as true as you have been led to believe it is, if you understand. So what do I mean? Now, I don't know what examples I can give you exactly um, that are YouTube guideline friendly, shall we say. Okay. Um, let's say particular members of a specific religion who are currently crossing borders into from the south to the north, let's say. Okay. And that can apply anywhere around the world, I suppose. But there's a specific faction who claim allegiance to the Abrahamic religions, but have their own offshoot, let's say, who are, it seems, on the warpath. Okay. And I will find there's a big section of, of um, truthers, we'll call them, okay, who have put all their focus on just talking about that faction and how evil they are. And how they are just out there to utterly dominate and take control, okay? And everything they do is evil, etc., etc. Now, listen, listen, I've been there. I get it. And there's a lot of messed up stuff going on with that particular group, okay? And their beliefs. That is cruel, evil, and is not welcome, I suppose, here, okay? Um, their, their societal norms are antithetical to ours. And there's no such thing as integration with them only dominance okay um but the issue is th that hatred that can fester towards that degree it will cause you to become something you don't want to be okay now at the end of the day no matter what the enemy as you perceive at the time believes they can all come to the truth and be saved okay so it doesn't matter it's kind of this whole love the sinner hate the sin situation now i understand that's not easy for a lot of people to actually do because some sinners out there are absolutely horrible people okay and forgiveness is not easy it wouldn't be forgiveness if that was the case <laughs> it's not easy okay um and it's kind of you have to remember our battle is not against flesh and blood it's against principalities and powers okay spiritual wickedness in high places and that concept of spiritual wickedness in high places i also can not only does it apply to the angelic hosts and the fallen angels and the demons i think it also implies to so it also applies to ideas okay they are non-corporeal things okay and i remember this phrase that's been banded around quite a lot which is stuck with me is that you know people don't have ideas ideas have people Right, and we need to remember that the kind of these individuals who go and do terrible things based on their belief systems they are under 
the control of the idea. They are possessed, in a sense, by the idea. Okay, And like I said, they can always come to the truth and see the light. Okay, They can be reformed in that respect. So try not to harbour resentment for people who have ideological differences to you. Okay, so it's not just religion, it's ideological, it's political as well, this can apply to, you know. Um, as truthers, as real conspiracy theorist truthers in this movement who want to be ambassadors and bring people to the light and the truth, you know, and actually get them to start studying things and opening their eyes and breaking down the barriers and prison that they built in their own mind. Well, we need to remain open to everything and everyone and be able to take in information and, and to have a dialogue with those we consider our enemies if, because they're not our enemies at the end of the day they also believe they have some kind of truth and that's why they believe what they believe that's why they're so passionate about it and it's best for us to not put the blame on one particular faction because it narrows our worldview and our viewpoints and our ability to discern um, what is and isn't going on and is real and not worth taking on board with our own ideas of what the truth may be um, so political is one thing. I understand a lot of what the political left is doing is heinous. And right now it does seem like they have a foothold and a dominance on everything. But the political right in, throughout history hasn't always been perfect either. You know, and to get yourself caught in that, that duality is a problem. Um, it's limiting to yourself and you're kind of falling for the system's trick if you do get into that. And it's easy to get into the politics stuff, it really is. It's, it's easy to get passionate about that kind of thing as well. So I empathise. This is why it's a tip and a piece of advice. It's something you have to work towards. Don't fall into this trap of blaming a particular outgroup as the enemy and the cause of all the problems. Um, another good one, which is relatively recent, which has kind of tapered out a little bit, but I think the sentiment is still around, is MGTOW. And this is the ultimate form of divide and conquer because this is literally encouraging men to put all the blame for the problems they have and the society has on the opposite gender, which is women. And again, MGTOW have a lot of truth, all right? They've pointed out a lot of traits that females present, which are perfectly natural to them, um, which may not be favorable towards men, okay? And as a result, men have these, this faction has been built which is centred around um, thinking women are the worst possible thing you know? and it's it's it, it, you know people don't like me saying this because what I did in the past but it's not a good place to be okay um, people aren't perfect women aren't perfect but neither are men you know um, for as much as women have the their let's call them flaws that's what they want to view them as, you know. As much as women have personality traits that we might not consider good, um, we also have equally as many personality traits they might not consider as great as well. Um, people are different, and that includes genders are different. And we shouldn't try and find a group, whatever that be a gender, a religious thing, or a political thing, to put all of our blame for all of our problems on. And... You know, like I said, as truth is, we're supposed to consider everything from every angle and create the bigger picture as a whole and see that all of these factions I'm talking, all these schisms I'm talking about, these arguments, these factions I've been created, us against them here, them against them over there, them against them over there. That is a part of the problem in the control. To, to make people divided is how they conquer. As long as people are fighting among themselves, they'll never turn their attention towards the true issue. You know, the true controllers, the powers that be type of thing. Um, so don't fall into it. Because this is the thing, they're all very enticing because they all offer an extreme amount of truth. Each one has their own truth. They're like 90% true with a 10% lie. The problem is that makes the whole thing a lie. But that 90% truth is enough to keep people in. It's to keep them going with it, to wave the flag and the banner and, and, and regurgitate the mantras you know, the phrases and the words that go with that particular faction. It makes people read the scripts you know, and take a side in the play. That's all it is. It's, 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 it's a play at the end of the day. It's not real. It's not the real issue. Okay. You know, it's, I don't want to say the names, but it's not them. It's not them. It's not them. It's not them. 
okay it's it's not the religious people it's not the political people it's not the opposite sex you know it's not those who claim they don't have a gender or a sex either you know <laughs> we're all kind of victims and being controlled and played at every angle all of us the sooner we realize that the sooner we can start actually chipping away what isn't isn't real and getting closer to a combi combined understanding of the truth now we all know i personally believe that it's jesus christ the christian angle the biblical history and perspective the existence of the, the demonic uh, entities in the fractal realm um, their fallen angel leaders you know and the human foot soldiers who within secret societies working hand in hand to create a new world order um, a, a beast system world run for the benefit of Lucifer and Satan and you know his people um, but obviously Jesus Christ is coming to put an end to all of that in the end um, it's a matter of being saved before it's too late and um, becoming a new person so the life you do have while here can be lived in a way that's beneficial not only to you but to those around you and um, that's the ultimate truth it's a simple one actually it's very simple um, and these all these other things tend to pontificate and speculate on such a broad academic in intellectual scale that the, the simplicity of the truth gets lost in these complex um, and diverse, let's say, um, ideologies. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave that there. So I suppose, how do I phrase this tip? You know, uh, don't fall into the trap when doing your research of thinking that one faction is to blame for everything. Okay. Um, it can quickly evolve into hatred and then you will become basically an extremist of some kind and that's just not useful to anybody it really isn't and I know maybe some extremists who may see this in the future will disagree with me um, but I stand by it it's not healthy it's not good for you it's good for nobody um, so yeah thanks for listening guys and as always God bless